All right, hey guys, I am uh, going to show you how to guess, properly turn in your assignment. I wanted to uh, make sure that you know how to upload more than one item at a time. So um, what I'm going to do is just go here to the module section. And we're going to look in week one here for one of the assignments. I think the one I really want to do is the uh, purchase your textbooks and day planner. The other ones you should be able to figure out from just watching this one. Okay, so here I am. Let's say I have all of my stuff here. I'm going to go to submit assignment. All right, you're going to see here that there's a lot of different options. There's file upload here. There's text entry. There's website URL. There's media, there's studio, there's Dropbox, there's Google Drive, there's more. Okay, so the only ones that I ever make available for assignments are file upload, text entry, website URL, and once in a while for certain assignments, I might do media. That's it. These other ones, studio, Dropbox, Google Drive, and more, they require plugins that are not plugged in. So that means that if you tried to use these, they wouldn't work. So it's actually not even an option for you. So for this assignment, you're going to go to file upload because basically I'm asking you to upload several files. Um, also, you could go here to text entry and enter things as well. But for this assignment, um, it's more than just text entry. It's file upload. So you're going to go to browse and select um, whatever file. I don't even know what files I have here, but I'm just going to click on this one. All right, so there's a screenshot. Um, that's gonna be of my books, right? And then I'm going to add another file and click Browse, and then add that screenshot. And then I'm going to click Add Another File and Browse and add that screenshot. Okay, so when I'm done, like I have all of my stuff uploaded here, all three screenshots, if I had anything to say as well, like let's say you, um, you know, I put both books in the first picture, the day planner is in the second picture. The third picture is the receipt. Thanks. Okay, so that will show up in the little text box next to the assignment. So then I'm going to click Submit Assignment. Now that I have everything there, which is good. It might take a minute. Okay, so over here it says Submission Details. Um, here you can see clearly that the screenshot is uploaded, the other sc screenshot is uploaded, and the other screenshot is uploaded. You can click on these and it will actually show you the screenshot that is um, attached. And because I have no idea which screenshot I attached, I'm not going to click on them. Um, then the comments here, I put both books in the first picture, the day planner is the second picture, the third picture is the receipt. Thanks. Now, let's say you royally screwed it up and you only got like one or two of these in here and they didn't go in right. Um, then you could go to resubmit assignment and you should be able to resubmit the assignment. So that is the correct way to submit the assignment. Let's go to resubmit the assignment just so I can show you the wrong way. Okay, so this is what I do not want you to do. So when you go to resubmit, it automatically erases, you know, all the stuff that you already have. So um, we're going to go to down here to browse and just click on the first screenshot. Now what I want you to see here is right now I've got these three are submitted, submitted, okay? But as soon as I submit this one, it's going to bump the other ones. So um, I'm not gonna leave a comment on this one, right? So just so you can see the change. I'm gonna submit the assignment. I've got only one screenshot uploaded here. You'll see here now, there's just one screenshot. So you cannot upload items separately. If you screw up and you have to resubmit, 
then you've got to resubmit all three files for it to be done correctly. And that means you've got to click add another file until you get all three that you want in there. Again, you would have to resubmit your comments. And submit assignment. All right, so now we see the two screenshots that I did upload. So that is how you do assignments. Um, basically, some of the assignments are going to require that you do a text box instead. Let me go to maybe one of those so we can kind of see um, what's going on with that. Let, I don't know if I... I'm just going to go to week two stuff because I know I have a journal in here and that's something that is a little different. Okay, so here we are. Here's the instructions. You need to make sure you follow the instructions. For journals, you need to make sure that you copy and paste from where it says copy and paste. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to copy and paste. I'm just doing control C here. I've highlighted it. All right, I'm going up here to submit assignment. Um, I'm going to click on text entry. Then I'm going to do control V to stick in my journal here. So it says in your journal, write the areas. Um, eight areas of self-assessment and record your scores. So I already wrote the areas for you, so you just need to stick your scores in here. I mean, I'm just putting in some scores. <laughs> They're not really my scores, but I feel like... I feel like these might be my scores. I took the assessment at one point a long time ago. All right, so number two here, right? about the areas in the self-assessment in which you had your highest scores. Explain why you think you scored higher in these areas than others. Were there any surprises? Okay, so if you had looked at the instructions, you would know that each one of these um, questions requires five sentences um, as an answer. So I'm just gonna write five sentences here. You would write actually a five sentence answer and then the same thing here you would write five sentences but I don't want to bore you by writing five sentences. So you will write five sentence answers for both of these. Um, if you have anything to say about the assignment like this is what's going on with me or I'm sorry but that I didn't understand this part. Hopefully I did it right. Okay so then I'm going to go to submit assignment. Um, I should see that there's a submission here. I can click on submission details and it will show me um, what I got here. Once I grade the assignment, my comments will be over here on this side and you'll be able to see your grade on the, on, on the assignment, okay? If you see that you've done it incorrectly, you can always go to resubmit assignment up until the due date. After the due date, you can no longer resubmit an assignment, okay? So hopefully that's helpful. Um, double check and make sure you got everything correct and that you turned everything in correctly today. And um, of course, if you have any questions, you can always text me. My number is 909-224-1204 and I will see you in the next video. Bye.